Hi, I hope y'all had have had a great week. Um, we're going to do our road seed ornaments today, and I hope y'all really enjoy them. It's really, really simple. I did some yesterday, so that way I've got some to show you because it does have to sit in your refrigerator overnight so it can set. So I've got some to show you so that you can see they do turn out. And um, let's just go ahead and get started. I posted yesterday the list of things that you need. Um, the recipe, the full recipe with the instructions and all is at the library and you are more than welcome to pick those up. If you can't get in, just send me a message and I can send that to you um, through Facebook Messenger. Um, so those are two ways that you can get that information. So let's get started. All right, so right now I've got a half of a cup of cold water in this bowl. And to that, I'm going to add two pouches of unflavored gelatin. So the, this box comes with four pouches. And um, I used two last night, and I will use two today. They're not that expensive. Um, you can find them if you... I got these at Brookshire's, and I found them on the bottom shelf where all the jello pudding and jello gelatin is. So we're just going to put this in the bowl, just like so. And this is all parts that the, you know, your kiddos can help you do. All right, give that a little stir. So what I did before I started the video is I set my kettle on my tea kettle to go in on the stove and it boiled and so now i have a half a cup of boiling water that we're going to add to that and we're just going to stir this until it dissolves and as you can see it, it's got a little bit of a color to it but it's it's not very much so you can see when it stops having granules in it. So this part, it'll, it'll be kind of warm. So make sure you have a spoon or a whisk or something for the kids to, to use to stir. Now to that, we're going to add two tablespoons of white corn syrup. And this is really thick stuff. But everything in here is edible. Um, the bird seed, of course, I, I wouldn't say that would be very tasty. But everything is, is food safe. Unless you have an allergy, of course. So just make sure you rake all of that out. All right, I'm gonna rinse my hands off real quick. All right, and then we're gonna just give that a whisk and get all of that incorporated. That water is, is warm, so it will all go in pretty, pretty easy. One of my kiddos lent me their ring light so we can actually see inside my bowls when I cook things now. All right, so now we have our one cup, a half a cup of cold water, a half a cup of boiling water, two packets of unflavored gelatin and I have pre-measured two and a half cups of bird seed it's kind of been hanging out here on the side and now we're just gonna pour that in and give that a good stir so as you can see this is still pretty liquidy and we um, when we spoon this into our cookie cutters, we, you know, you want it to set up a little bit. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the refrigerator for five to ten minutes. It depends on how cold you keep your refrigerator. Um, I'm using a metal bowl, so that will also, you know, it, it'll stay cold. It'll get colder and hold that temperature. We want this to be thick, like a really good thick syrup, but not where you can see the little granules of really cold gelatin because if you have that your your ornaments aren't going to stick together they'll they'll just crumble apart um so kind of get keep an eye on it. it the recipe says 10 minutes i check mine after five and then kind of give it a little stir and then see if um it needs a little bit longer sorry i have the hiccups after that so give me just a second and i'll be right back all right so while we wait for the bird seed to kind of set a little bit in the refrigerator i'm going to show you what i did with our to to get the ornaments prepped so i've got these cute little cookie cutters and whatever you have at home of course you are more than welcome to use i just covered a cookie sheet in foil and i picked out some cute little cookie cutters that I have and then I I'm doing one big um kind of like a bell ornament but um so what you'll do is you'll get your twine and I got a pretty long piece because I'd rather have too much in, instead of not enough and um you're gonna tie a loop on this end and poke a hole in the bottom of just a a throwaway plastic cup and then string that through just like that um, if you have um, a needle that that can fit through that would be good I was super not safe and I used a sharp knife and I got yelled at that mom that doesn't look safe um, but I was I promise I was I was safe as I could be with that um, And then what we'll also need is you'll get a just a, a throwaway straw. So like if y'all went and got a drink at Sonic or McDonald's or somewhere, you can just take that straw, rinse it out, and then cut it into little pieces. Um, this can, of course, make more than just these five ornaments in this one cup um, if you're just using ornaments. But I'm just doing... Just showing y'all how it's done, and there's only me. So, you know, I don't have a whole bunch of little hands trying to help me. So, this is um, pretty simple. You'll need a spoon for everybody. So, that way they can help spoon the, the bird seed in. I'm going to go check on that, and I will be right back. All right. So, I've got our bird seed out. And this is really simple. All you're going to do is take the mixture and press it into your cookie cutters. Um, just like so. Then you're going to take your straw piece. And wherever you're going to want to hang this on um, from the tree... You'll just put that in there and let it sit. You don't want it to be too close to the edge because then it will, it could just break. Um, I didn't pick the best ornaments for that purpose, but the best shapes, I guess I should say. But y'all can do, maybe y'all have a better selection than I do. I'm kind of a drop cookie kind of. Kind of mom, we do a lot of drop cookies. I don't, I don't roll out cookies very much. I don't know why, I just never have. I'm like more of a chocolate chip cookie and snickerdoodle and ginger cookie kind. All right, so this, this is really all there is to it. You just take your mixture and your hands get a little bit messy.
And then what you'll do when you're done with this, all right, so I'm gonna leave those two and I will start on this because this takes a little bit of time. So, you're just gonna spoon some of this bird seed mixture in the cup. And you can have this as full or as, you know, not full as you want it to be. I'm gonna slide that so you can see. And then you're gonna wanna press this down because if it's, if you get too many like air pockets, it'll fall apart when you take it out of the cup. And I will show you, I've only partially taken the one that I did last night out. So we'll, we'll get to see if it, if it truly worked in just a minute. Because you can cut this bottom part of the string off. So like if that's as much as you want to fill it, you can stop right there. And if you wanted to, depending on, again, how many kiddos you have and how many ornaments you're wanting to make. Um, and just, but you're going to want to make sure that's good and pressed. So that way it holds its shape really well. So we're going to stop there. And then I will finish with these and then you can when you hang them in your trees just make sure that you hang them in a place where the birds have a place to kind of sat sit i can't talk today um and and eat on them you know if they're just kind of dangling where there's no where for them to perch they may not be able to get to them so easy Our little foot but it is still cold and according to the groundhog mr phil we were going to have six more weeks of winter so the birds are starting to come back but there's not so much for them to eat just yet so we're going to help them out All right, and then just as simple as that, stick the straws in. And then when you pull these out, you'll just push the straw through to the other side and so that way you make sure you you get the bird seed out of there too i got that one that one that one all right everybody's all right give me just a second to rinse my hands off and then i'll show you what we did what i did yesterday Okay, so as you can see, I, I used the same cookie cutters on these as I did on the ones that I, I did for y'all today. And they're just, they're super cute. Look at those. And there's a little hole. And you'll just take your twine and um, any kind of string will work. Just fine. Um, give me just a second so I can see here. Oh, maybe, maybe not, guys. Okay. Well, there we go. I think yes all right so you just tie that and then you can hang that from a tree a low-hanging tree branch a bush 
somewhere. If you don't have something like that in your yard, you can just like set these out. They don't have to, they don't have to hang, but they can if you so choose. All right. So how I got into this cup, because it, it's kind of stuck. And as you can see, I really filled this one up. I didn't fill this one up quite so much. But I just took some scissors and I cut along the edge and then we're just peeling this back. And it'll, now it's going to be kind of attached here at the bottom. So let me scoot you over so y'all can see this. Let me try not to cut my ribbon, cut my twine. Okay. All right, and there we go. And it, it held up so good, look. And so that can hang, well, except I didn't get that quite in the middle. So it held up good, but I, I have bad placement issues so it's that's not going to hold but it itself stayed together so i hope y'all really enjoy this and y'all do this at home and y'all feed your birds use whatever kind of bird seed that y'all would like to use i used wild bird feed um, but if you have a certain kind of bird that hangs out at your house more often you are of course more than welcome to use that so if you want to see more red birds more cardinals get get a cardinal feed if you want bluebirds get you know, the blue jay feed. Um, this just kind of fits everybody and also your squirrels too. So everybody's happy. Y'all have a great day and I hope to see y'all soon.